What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in today's video we got something a little special for you. Now I've made countless videos here in the channel, actually three videos a day for the last about 45 days. So if you've missed any videos, make sure you guys check them out, especially the one where I tell you how to get this amazing hat. And actually thinking about it, dudes, I've actually never made a video showcasing where to get this hat. I'm sorry I failed you, all right? I just thought about it right now. If you want this hat, let me quickly show you the location on the map, right? If you drop the video like, okay, let's go for 2,000 likes in this video. It's right here, right above Mount Hagen. It's above the M of Mount Hagen. You're gonna find a dead dude in the snow. You take the hat off his head. Dude, I got all the best tips and tricks here on the channel. I'm so glad you're subscribed and welcome back for all the fun goodness. Now, we've been to the swamps many times in our Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough, and we've ran into little houses like this, and sometimes these little houses have the most random stuff. So like an example, this house, as you can tell, it's all boarded up, but sometimes these little houses have little secrets in them that you can enter. Unfortunately, it looks like this house has no secrets. So th at this point, we're just gonna move on. But my horse is seem seemingly running away from me and having a 1v1 against an alligator right now. That's great. Um, little golden horse, just come on back this way. That alligator's gonna kill you, bud. Hello, this way, right over here. Uh-huh, there we go. Thank you. Nope, you're going the wrong way. Hey, I'm over here. Come on. There we, there we go. All right, let's just get on the horse. It seems like my horse is having some technical difficulties today. I'm not really sure what's going on, but there is a very, very mysterious house in the swamp area. Now, last time we visited the swamps, we checked out the Night Folk. Not only did we check out the Night Folk gang, it's actually like a village of people. We also went ahead and checked out, oh Jesus. I almost died. We also checked out, I just ramped my horse, the ghost of the swamps if you guys have not seen that video go check it out it's freaking amazing it's literally like mind-blowing crazy we saw a real life ghost in game it's crazy but today we're checking out a very random house now it's weird because i've actually never been inside this house and i'm gonna take out my little pistols what the hell is that a spoon bill i've never killed one of these have i probably actually oh yeah i've killed those Never mind, I've killed many of those. But out here in the swamps, you will find many alligators. Now, I don't need to tell you guys that there's alligators in the swamps. It's pretty easy to know that. But what you don't know is that there's this really creepy cabin in the swamps. Now, I'm gonna be super freaking careful. As you can see, there's a freaking alligator underneath this house like a little jail for this alligator now i don't know how this alligator got here but it's here it's hanging out and i gotta make sure while i'm walking i don't get killed and uh here we are we are at the house that i want to take you guys to now the surrounding area overall is pretty odd um i've never investigated this bird before what is this a crane oh a snowy egret hello hello that is awesome. I cannot believe we've never seen these before. Slowly but surely, brothers, we are discovering more and more species of birds. But like I mentioned to you guys, we are going inside of this house today. Now, I wanna warn you, this little cabin is more than just a little cabin. It's actually, it's actually a little weird. Oh, what? This is an exotic bird? I just killed three of them. What? Okay, so now you guys have to come here. There's an exotic bird here. My god, I swear this channel is the best Red Dead Redemption 2 channel. If you agree with that statement, let me know in the comment section. I have two of 30 exotics. What? I didn't even mean to. Okay, dudes. I could have easily gotten 30 of them right there. I could have just killed more of those birds. Huh. And you can take some gator eggs. All right, I'm getting distracted. Let's get to the point here, right? We are here for one thing and one. What? More exotics? Wait, hold, let me figure this. What is this? This guy, fashion designer and collector of exotic flora and fauna. Ashes, try some. Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, whatever. I got what he needs. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Like I mentioned before, this house is pretty weird. Now, below the house, you saw there was, uh, well, a trapped alligator. Now, strap in, brothers and sisters, friends of the interwebs. We're going inside. We're going deep. And right away, dudes, right away, it's freaking creepy some voodoo lady freaking lived here 
you can tell she was up to no good. Now, the stuff on the walls are really creepy. She has like newspapers and a lot of buildings in Red Dead Redemption 2 use this as wallpaper. I don't know why, especially in the swamps, they use newspapers as wallpaper. But what's also very weird in this house is all throughout the walls, she has this very well written like text. The moon will shine on in the darkness like really creepy stuff so let's go over what we have in this house because it's a lot to take in first things first these candles have recently been lit you know you can tell that someone was here something is going on but we don't know exactly what throughout this whole area there is animals like this crow right here which honestly if this crow would have freaking flew i would have freaked out i would have freaked the hell out but if you look along this wall right here which i can't even i don't have my stupid lantern because my horse always takes it his final toll will sound my greatest coming and this lady has this stuff written all along the walls i know you the water is black with venom like really creepy writings all throughout this place now one thing i want to check out thank oil Thank you. Is what this lady does for a living. And as you can see here, I offered you happiness or two generations. You made your choice. So if you're confused what this lady does, if you don't understand, she is clearly a voodoo doctor or some kind of witch. This is Armadillo, as you can see. I don't know exactly where this is, but in the comment section, we're going to figure this out. Uh, it sort of looks like Blackwater, to be honest. Just looking at it, I, I don't know. I've only been to Blackwater once, and looking at it, I'm like, well, oh, looks like Blackwater. But you guys will help me in the comment section. I'm sure you will. Now, I wish I could pick this up, but I can't. I, I don't know what this is. It's, it's the mystery of the swamps, and that's what I'm calling this. She has... What the dicks? Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. That scared the living hell out of me. My, oh my freaking god. Cause like, oh my god. My character, I backed, I backed into the, um, whew, I backed into the door and automatically opened it for me. I thought somebody opened the door behind me. Oh my freaking god. This game scares the living hell out of me. What's cool about this place is we have like a lot of paintings. So, Clearly, she's some kind of witch doctor, some kind of priestess, something. More than just a painter, to my understanding. I think what I what I can assume... Oh, my God. There was a man called Jimmy Brooks who was always running into crooks till one chased him down and he had to talk his way around. That Jimmy isn't as dumb as he looks. Jimmy Brooks... What the? Dudes, this cabin is filled with little Easter eggs. Is there anything else we're missing here? What I want you guys to do when you come to this location on the map, and for those of you that missed where it is, it's right here in the swamp, in this little, like, indentation of the swamp. You have to come here. You have to come here and help me solve this mystery. You have to figure out what we've missed. There's got to be more secrets here. I'm going to go to my horse real quick, and look at this. This freaking pig. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Having the time of his life right now. Eating those birds I killed. He's like, don't mind me. I'm just munching on the boat. All right, I'm gonna let him do... Oh my God. I almost killed myself. What is my horse doing? Hello? Just come here. There we go. Okay. My horse ran past me. Hey, come on, bud. I just needed him to calm down so I can get my bow. And I'm gonna get a shotgun just in case things get a little crazy. And I'm also gonna grab my lantern. For some reason, it's never on my on my on my person. There should I, I actually funny enough, I actually need the oh the pig. I need the pig. I need his I need his hide. So let me skin him real quick. I need a wild boar hide and this is perfect hide so it works really well and i wish my horse would not be running around like this but we're in the swamps what, what can you expect so this real quick okay perfect thank you very much you can get out of here now so i should have my lantern and look at that dudes i don't have my lantern again this is such a broken inventory system let me tell you i keep losing my lantern there we go we got the lantern now from the outside we don't see anything too crazy that noise you hear approaching the door is simply just the um, the gators. But what I want to check out really quickly, I wonder if there's anything inside of these bottles. Okay. Clearly not. 
Let's go back inside. Now, the water is black with venom. Saw that. Anything up here that we're missing? I shoot this. Nothing happens there. Can I search anything here? No. We, we read this before. I already have it or two generations. You made your choice. What about back here? On the floor, maybe. Behind a painting. Mm, doesn't look like it. Any newspaper clippings you can clearly read? Not that I can see. There's got to be some symbolism. Oh, from the snow to the cave. I gave everything for art and I learned too much and nothing at all. From the snow to the cave. I know you. The moon will shine on in the darkness. This one's the craziest one, the Jimmy Brooks one. That one's super interesting. Dude, I'm looking around and I don't see anything, but I have to say, this is one of the cooler finds in Red Dead Redemption 2. This building alone has the most amount of detail to it for a small space. I find that very crazy that this much detail went into this. And as you can see, she sort of has a fascination with Armadillo, with that whole area. And there has to be some correlation to these paintings to what's to come. But I'm not sure. What would have been super trippy if this painting right here would have been a painting of Arthur Morgan. That would have been super crazy. Macy, what if I shoot this, this crow? You can't actually shoot the crow. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of this area? I think it's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot of, a lot of stuff went into this video. Um, a lot of information, a lot of cool finds, and overall, uh, a lot of new discoveries. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like. Let's go for over 2,000 likes. And man, this was a lot of fun, dudes. Thank you guys so much.